don't know. This is a tough one. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. We've got another morning out here. The report is that there's some bluefish, possibly some albies and some bonito, maybe some mackerel. It's starting to show up. A few mixed species. I'm throwing a uh, deadly dick right now. And uh, let's see if we can catch anything. All right, first fish of the morning. Took a little bit to get him. Jeez. That's a first shad. See you later. Yep, there we go. He hit it. Ah, uh, little blue. Got off right at the end there. Gosh, since when did bluefish want a slow retrieve like that? That's crazy. Since when do they want a slow retrieve? I guess they do today. Oh, then he's off. Jeez. Get a single point hook on here right now. That's two fish on there right now. I can see him jumping out there. See, there he is. Cast after cast. Once you dial him in. There we go. What is that? Jeez, oh my gosh. Right at the end, they get off. Yep. Okay. There we go. That's a better one. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, I gotta sharpen this hook. When that happens, take the file, file that hook point a little sharper. There we go. Crazy. Look at that mark on him. Big old shad. All right, man. See you later. So that was fun. I fished about two hours there in the morning, caught some of those small blue fish, caught that big old gizzard shad, which is a first for me. And I think I'm gonna go take a drive and go to a different spot and try a little bit of fluke and why we still have a few days left in the season. Looks like the rain's starting to come in. There we go. Got him. All right, man. Little fish. I'll see you later. There we go. That's another good one. I'm going to move it back. That's fighting good. It's fighting really good. Close. We'll see right now. 17 and a half. That's a great fish. That's so close to that keeper, but not a keeper. Oh, that's big. There we go. Wow, he hit really good. I think he still could be a little short, but my drag slipped on that. I know it's just going to be short. Yep, another 17. 
Later, man. That's big. That's really big. It's got a lot of weight. Holy cow, what is that? Wow, it's a big old doormat. If I lose this, oh my gosh. That's a huge fluke, oh my gosh. All right, I gotta try to secure this thing. No, 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 no. All right, we got him secured. That right there is what you call last week of fluke season. Wow. 20. Man, I cannot believe that. With only a little bit of time left in fluke season, that guy just came out of nowhere. I'm so happy I landed him. Any bit the teaser. All right, seems like the bite is dying down right now. I just lost my rig, so I have on a single bucktail right now, one ounce. Um, I'm probably gonna go for 15 more minutes and then call it a day. See if I can get one more fish. So it is the last week of fluke season and we're doing a challenge today. Breaded fish versus battered fish. If you haven't seen the other video with the old recipe of the battered fish, check that out because it was so good. We're going to see which one's better today. So let's get in there and start cooking. And we got some pumpkin donuts. Since we got the fryer out, we got to make some donuts. Yes, we do. And now I'm gonna let them rest in the fridge until we're ready to fry them. All right, that's the fluke I filleted. I'm gonna go ahead and bread half of it, flour egg breadcrumb. These are some panko breadcrumbs that I seasoned. And uh, let's get started. All right, that's the breaded stuff. It looks good already. This is gonna be close. Mars frying the donuts over here. Those are looking great. Then I'm gonna blanch the fries like I did last video. Low heat, 275, then finish them at 350. You can check all that information out in the last video. Then we're gonna start frying the fish. So I cooked them at low heat, and now they're frying at 350. You can already see the crunch on these guys. That's how you get a nice crunchy fry. Do you hear that? That's a crunchy fry. All right, let's start frying this fish. Let that cook for a little bit and then we'll do the beer batter. Wow. They might need to finish in the oven, but man, those breaded ones are looking good. Wow, so that's the breaded. Take a look at that. Not gonna lie, we had to uh, take a taste. Gonna salt those. This is gonna be a close one, guys. Gonna batter that fish up. It's already been floured. And you'll see this in the last video from a few ones ago. Get that fish, hold it, kind of wiggle it around until it starts to float so it doesn't get stuck to the bottom. And then once it does that, you just let it go. I'm gonna do that with all of them and let's do the test. And that's what we're looking for, guys, that golden brown right there. All right, here's the test, guys. Last fluke of the season, breaded versus fried. Which one should we go first? Breaded. Breaded. All right, let's do breaded. Let's go for it. Hmm. Oh, the tartar sauce. Wow. Breaded is good. That panko breadcrumb really gives it like a nice crunch. 
Mm. Wow. The defending champ. Let's go ahead and see how that is. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not fair. I, I think that because also the fish is just so fresh too that it's really good. Man. I don't know, this is a tough one. We're at a standstill right now. You just can't go wrong with the beer battered. But for breaded, that's gotta be like the best breaded, panko breaded fish that I've had. Yeah. It's good. But the panko still has the crunch. It still has the crunch. The panko holds the crunch. It does. All right, for me, both of them are absolutely amazing, but if I had to pick one, it would be battered. Agreed? Battered. Battered. If I got the fr if I got the breaded, I wouldn't be disappointed at all because this is amazing. Yeah. But I, if I'm if I'm forced to pick one, it's gonna be battered. Just the battered's just so good. It's just really good. <laughs> if you haven't tried the recipe, definitely do it. All right, just finished up the breaded or battered challenge. Let me know which one you guys like better in the description. I think that was a great way to end fluke season. Once again, thank everybody for watching. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time on The Line Cook.